Amazon's not the only company under pressure happening now. Target says they will close nine stores across the U.S. Company leaders are blaming the closures on high crime and safety issues. The stores include one in Harlem, two in Seattle, three in Portland, and three in San Francisco. Officials say lost, broken, and stolen goods will cause a $500 million loss in this year's expected profits. Well, back at home, let's take a look at what's good here in Michigan. Oh, yeah. How about this? A class ring that's back home more than two decades after it was lost. Yeah, our very own Carly Luca joins us now in the newsroom. And Carly, how did this ring get back to its rightful owner? Well, believe it or not, despite belonging to a Berrien Springs High School alum, the ring was found by a woman hundreds of miles away. Gone 20, 25 years now. That's how long it's been since John Leith saw his class ring. He asked his aunt to hang on to it for him during some tough times. And I was like, would you put this in your jury box? I don't want it to come up missing. But sadly, that's exactly what happened when his aunt developed some health issues. Fast forward to this year when Margaret Langley bought some jewelry and realized she had something special. And I started looking at it and I saw he had the name engraved on the inside. It just came to me that maybe I should try to find out who it belonged to. Margaret took to Facebook, posting in a group for those who grew up in Berrien Springs. And lo and behold, um, he's still living and uh, they people knew him and they contacted him immediately. John says he heard about the post from a neighbor. Sends me a text with a picture of my class ring and everything. She's like, um, Johnny, is this yours? And in Michigan, of all things, and I'm down here in North Carolina, you know, so I was like, wow, how in the world did that happen? It didn't take long for Margaret to ship the ring back to John. It was almost like the very first day I got it, you know. Everybody's so proud when they first get their class ring because, you know, it's an identity thing. Margaret's act of kindness means a lot to John, restoring his faith in humanity. I'm like, girl, you have no idea how much you've touched me. I mean, I had literally thought forever in the day this ring was gone forever. It's just a verification of the good things in people. There's a lot of good people out here. And highlighting the importance of his faith in God as well. I got a cross hanging from the windshield, and it's going to go right on that top of that cross. Sentimental because it'd be like uh, the cross, Jesus. The reason I got the ring back is Jesus. Margaret also believes the ring reunion seemed preordained. It just came over me. Uh, when I had the ring that I really needed to try to find this person. And uh, I don't know if you want to call it divine intervention or what. Though she's never been to Barry and Springs, she feels connected to the community now. And it just opened up a whole world of new friends for me. And I could probably go to that town and, and say, I'm Margaret Langley. And they say, oh, we know you. You're the girl who found John's ring, you know. <laughs> And for John, it's a heartwarming reminder to stay positive. When something is taken from you, that is actually a part of you, it hurts. It really does. Don't dwell on it. Live for the positive. Let go of the negative. Positive will always find a way to come back. Always. Some good life advice, right? Well, obviously, John's class ring means a lot to him, especially since he was an athlete for Berrien Springs High, playing baseball, football, and running track. But ironically, Margaret's class ring is also missing, so keep your eyes peeled. She tells me if anyone ever finds it and returns it to her, it would be like a gift from heaven. Oh. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, Carly, we, you know, we sometimes talk about the negatives of social media, but... Facebook there uh, played a role in getting that ring back, huh? Absolutely. It connected them almost immediately and made this a very quick reunion. All right, Carly Luca with a What's Good in Michigan. Carly, thanks a lot. Well, there's much more to